Angela. Namaste. Good evening, everyone. I thought I would speak just a little bit about what is enlightenment, what is realization, and what it means to be a teacher of light. Okay, a genuine light body worker. Okay, realization or enlightenment is one that has gone beyond the mind spin into that still point, into that still is, that center of the universe, that which enlivens every atom, every molecule within the universe. One has entered into that and knows what is this God essence. And it's such a, like I said, it's a, it's a very, <laughs> it's great universal joke in one way. One could never get away from it, and yet one has been blind to it for lifetimes. Okay. Most teachers that I've heard, the light teachers, always say, the I am that I am. Well, there's something beyond the I am that I am. The I am that I am is the first projection. It's the first projection, which from that point, duality springs from that. But beyond the I am that I am is that zero point balance. Okay, that primordial is. That primordial, what I call, you know, it's not nothing. It's nothingness. It has more reality than anything one can feel on this physical plane. And what I like to say is it's the grand potential of all. It's the pregnant void. Pregnant with everything that will ever come into manifestation. So while it has no uh, substance within itself. It carries everything in the universe within its potentiality. This is why the zero is such an important number. The zero adds value to everything, yet within itself it is empty in nature. <laughs> A paradox. Okay. But this is what one discovers when they have traveled the road to self-realization, okay? When that ego self, this identification as this body, mind, separation that has this experience here, that lives and then it dies and then it goes forward, okay? When one reaches that point of realization, all of that uh, misguided information is at an end. One finds out in the moment of realization that death before death, that one has never been born and one has never died. The only thing that is born and die is a physical form, and you're not that form. You only inhabit that form for a time, for experience in this plane, okay? If you're going to a different plane, you'll have a different type of form for a different type of experience, okay? And one discovers that they are eternal in nature. So whether this world is here or whether it implodes in the next 10 seconds, there will always be that reality and that beingness, okay? So the first thing one does as a teacher of light is to get people to the I am, the great I am that I am, that first projection. And from that point, then one can surrender totally within to go beyond that I amness, that one that projects the world out, OK? 
okay? They can go beyond that to that zero point balance of stillness, okay? It's such a different reality when the mind spin ends and one is simply seeing from direct consciousness. So the first thing that I have my students do is to do the I am that I am. To come into the heart center to understand the body is your temple and you can always commune in the heart in any moment and wherever you are standing since you are embodied with that life force of God wherever you are at is holy ground it's a sacred it can be a sacred experience okay there are things that different religions do such as in Hinduism, when they have the pujas, you offer the things to God first and then you take it afterwards. So offer that within and enjoy every second of it, okay? Understand this comes from God, okay? Everything that we have here is coming from that eternal source. So enjoy the beauty of it. Enjoy communion with it, okay? Learn to be present because the only place one can truly live is in the present. You can't really live in the past and you can't really project into the future. You can only truly be here and now. But if the mind is in the past or the mind is in the future projecting what ifs, you're losing your life in this moment, okay? So I think we will um, stop this here uh, and just take a few seconds to do a starting practice if you wish to be a walker on the path to light. The, the goal is to enter that light beyond lights. Okay, it's so much vaster than the light that one sees with their physical eyes. So if you want to walk that path to the light beyond lights, first one gets to the great I am that I am. So the first practice is to close your eyes, put your attention in the heart center, let your breath become natural, relaxed, and you'll find it starts to slow of its own accord. It should become a little quieter, a little more gentle. So just sit with that breathing for a few minutes. Now let yourself sink into the heart, rest there, and do the I am that I am. Do it in a voice that is audible so that you can hear and let it resonate. Feel the resonance. If you're relaxed enough, you'll feel that vibration in the heart center begin. I am that I am, 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 I am that I am. When your eyes are open, whatever you're looking at, whatever your eyes see, 
say own that I am because you are also part and parcel of that as well. The same particle of God that's enlivening you is giving that substance as well. So own that I am, and this aids to break down those feelings of separation and barriers that are in place. Namaste, I hope you've enjoyed this, and welcome to the Path of Light. Namaste.